Okay, now, so how are we going to start training? How are we going to start training? First, we're looking at balancing. Okay, the balancing is very important because now we're talking about exercises now because if you don't balance, you fall over. <laughs> That's not very good, isn't it? Now, also because on the balancing is concerned, the ancient be looking at it, what? All the joints. Because all the joint adjust itself to balancing against the pull of the gravity force. So we're talking about movement now, are we not? So if your movement is wrong, you unbalance yourself. Yeah? So that's why if you're looking at, at that movement of the joint, so how many joints are there? How many joints are there? Do you know? Well, you don't know, so fine. As I'm tell, you know, telling you now, your finger joint, your wrist joint, your elbow joint, your shoulder joint, and then your spinal joint, right? And then your pelvic joint, and your knee joint, and your ankle joint, and your toe joint. So, so from ancient Chinese, there was nine joints. They called it a combination of nine joints. Now, I've already written out, so we, we will be working on the joints. Now, why is it the joints are so important? Because the joints are making movement. And now we're talking about muscle now, muscular skeletal. So there are slow twitch muscle fibers and fast twitch muscle fibers with both as important as each other. Especially, right, you have to have tuning up, like we call it tune, you know, the elbow joint, and why the ligaments, this uh, fast twitch muscle fibers, why is the ligament so important? Because the ligament grows and grabs hold of, grow inside into your bones. And why is it so important in the bones? The Chinese are looking at that. What make inside the bone? Bone marrow. Why is it marrow so important? Blood. Bone marrow make blood. Now, all the time you say, oh, I want to cleanse my cell. I want to cleanse your cell. Have you ever asked yourself, what do you mean by cleansing? Everybody said use the word cleansing, but you don't even know what you're talking about. And you say, oh, I'm going to cleanse myself. Is it, is it better to know it a little bit, you know, more detail so we can help ourselves? So how are you going to regenerate your blood? There you go. Without using medication. Of course, there you can say, oh, I can take the vitamin this, I can take this. Yeah, of course, they're white down. But you don't have that, or it's very expensive. How are you going to trigger that? How are you going to regenerate new blood? Because when regeneration of new blood comes in, and of course, all those, so we say, impurity in the blood will be passing out. That's why you cleanse all the rubbish. So isn't that true? It's so important that you have to work in all the joint. So why is it people say, oh, well, arthritis is in other blockages, the blockages of your nitrogen bubbles. How are you going to get rid of that? That is blockages. We talk about bio, biological blockages, neurological blockages, and also musculoskeletal blockages. Do you know anything about it? So, well, just exercise at least. Yeah, my master told me to. Yes, yeah, good, good. But can you reach your spontaneous levels? Now, isn't it that's true that these, I lay out all the questions in front of you. Because if you're going to, you know, obviously join us in the university study, don't you think that you should know a little bit more than that? True. So therefore, in our exercise, we're inclusive of combination of nine joint. Okay. And also, what when I did mention, what do you mean by silk reeling or combination of circles? What do you mean by circles? Why is this all these lines of circles? Why is it so important? The circle, circle line. And when you have circle line, is we can do it very slowly. 
then we can we do it fast of course you can do it fast but when you do it fast it's no longer circular line when you do it fast it will be straight lines why is it so important does it help so these are all the question that you only do one movement they were all popping out okay yeah so obviously if as a university research fellows now I, I, I treat you know obviously I, I welcome everybody you know to join our university levels of study then you're research fellows yeah so why is it so important i'm telling you that because now Tao Yin Su the Tao Tao Yin yeah is talking about muscular skeletal so if you look at this muscles right if this is the muscles okay yeah so what happened you twist it around you stretch it up and down left and right backward and forward the five essences so by the time all your muscles are twisting around like that what's inside the muscle your peripheral neurological system isn't it so there's a lot of nerve fibers right among your muscles right you're twisting around don't you think that you can manipulating muscle to induce what it induce your neurological energy and what is it electrical because we are our electromagnetic field true yeah so that's why it's so important that if you just move one you know one dimension that's fine no problem it's still exercise but would you be better to do three-dimensional that's why it called combination of three circles okay and all the silk reeling what do you mean silk reeling like a silk worm is spitting out the silk and it goes like in a cocoon form a cocoon up and cocoon down so therefore it's the direction of your movement so all your movement right in the Tao Yin Su is three-dimensional so that means all your joint right even like your wrist joint yeah this this is the wrist joint up down left right backward forward so all the movements we try to we try to move all our joint the finger joint the elbow joint right the shoulder joint the spinal joint nine joints they all have to move in a three-dimensional way so you squeeze all the ligaments or, or, the, or the structures of your your joint as much as you can to stimulate more so not only for the bone marrows to you know to stimulate you are also stimulating what your electromagnetic field which is your neurological peripheral your peripheral peripheral energy the electric goes into the central nervous system to, before we communicate with your brain and the brain receiving it the brain is the boss it will release all the different chi or signals or vibration of energy whatever you call it is a name don't argue about the blinking name okay and what is it your natural body medicine that means your biochemical energy so we are looking at muscular skeletal energy electrical neurological energy and also biochemical biochemical natural body medicine energy which is your endocrine systems now that's how i teach in all the university now medical university check my cv this is how i teach so if you like that then you're most welcome to join us but if you think that you can just simply close your eyes right yeah okay you'll find the wrong teachers because i don't teach like that okay so therefore each movement you have to account for why do you do it have you ever asked ask yourself why do i do this why do i do this movement now you understand why we're doing it and also don't forget that that's Tao Yin Su but well, what about Xing Qi Su there are three levels of breathing do you know yeah so okay we all know is oxygen in the blood we want large amount of oxygen in the blood this that's why they call it oxygen therapy today isn't it yeah so in the ancient term is shoulder breathing of course it shoulder doesn't breathe if you didn't mean you know only only so we say unqualified unqualified Chinese master would say oh well, God you've done 10 foot done 10 this oh done 10 breathing skill done 10 done 10 don't breathe done 10 is an area of medicine 
right? So next time when people say to you, oh, you're Dante and this and Dante and that, walk away. Dan is medicine. Tien is an area. What's it got to do with breathing? Breathing, you know, is oxygen. Oxygen in the blood is a skill. Right? So you don't breathe with this. You don't breathe with shoulder. And then finally, embryonic breathing, right? And all this. Yeah, people doing a reverse breathing. Embryonic breathing is reverse breathing. Do you know why it's called reverse breathing? And, you know, today people are doing all this belly dancing, sucking up, and that's reverse breathing. My God. Don't you think it's a bit, you know, misleading? So would it be better, you know, a little bit more about it so you can avoid bumping into this, you know, so-called master? we got a big problem in some China. I'm a Chinese. I can tell you that. I got help you guys outside China. Okay. So we have a lot of problem we have to face, but we have to accept that I our own. I accepted my own ignorance. I accept my own right. Yeah. You know, shall we say, I'm not born to know everything. I'm not nobody is born to know everything. Why is it people keep on saying, Oh, I know, I know, I know, Mr. and Mrs. Know it all. And that's, you know what, that stopped you from learning because you think you know, but you know nothing. I've been doing it for 60 years. I still know nothing. Right? Check my CV. I put it on my hand, stage four lymphomatous stasis, stage four lymphoma, stage four leukemia. Like a successful case. Can you do that? Can your master do it? No, but don't argue then. Don't argue. Okay? But I can tell you, yes, you can do it. If you train properly, you learn properly. If I can do it, you can do it. Okay? So this is why it's very important. I'll give you a direction for the, this coming year. Two hours in a week. Now, if you're not prepared to spend that, forget it. I can't help you. You go to find another teacher, which close your eyes. Okay, fine. This is not my teaching. I teach in medical university. Okay, yeah? So you just come to the wrong teacher, that's all. Okay? So that is why it's very important. Now, when you learn, I put the exercise into one pair, two pair, three pair, four pair, five pair. It's a pair. Why? Now, because student asking me, why? Hey, professor, why do you put the thing into pair one and pair two, pair three? Why? Because, right? In ancient Chinese, we have this principle of the yin and the yang. Now, how many of you know what is the what is the principle or this discipline of the yin and the yang? You don't even know it. <laughs> so how are you going to put it into your movements? Why is it so important? How many pair? There are three pairs. I'm telling you, not just one pair yin and yang. There are three pairs of yin and yang principle written. 4,000, 5,000 years. This is 5,000 years study of changes, Yi Jing. Okay? So we once you understand the theory, we put into that because it's very, very important. Because why? For example, the movement. Okay? You have circular movement. What's the opposite? Straight line. You have really soft movement. Right? Yeah? We have very powerful movement. Yin and yang. Soft and hard. Fast. Very fast, slow, very slow. Everything in the universe is a cycle. That's why it's called cycle of changes. And within the five cycle, we found a middle. And the middle is the balance, or you call it equilibrium, or we call it the Tao. Okay? And that's also change. That's also change every second. That's why the changes, study of changes is for survival. Survival, do you know how to survive? Is your life. That's why it's a training of the mind and not just the body. The mindset. You can use the word mindset is very good. The word. Yeah. How are you going when you face a problem? How you deal with it? Do you know how to deal with it? Now this all become emotional content now. So emotional is in it not your psychological illnesses. How are we going to deal with that? So this is what. It research our curriculum is all about yeah training of your mind training of your body bring out the cell healing of your 
emotional problem, your physical problem. Try to boost your self-healing ability without using medication outside your body. But if you don't reach that level, of course you have to use that. So gradually, gradually, you have to cut it down. Because why, why, why you, now I'm not saying external medicine is not good, it's very good. Now, especially from the Chinese side, why is it the Chinese side? Because the Chinese, our an entire of our, you know, uh, shall we say medication based upon what? Tao is natural. Well, what do you mean by Tao is natural? You heard about it, but what do you mean? You talk about medicine now. Herbalism, herbal outside. Nature, natural, right? And 5,000 years, or you call it alchemist, we have that until now. Do you know how many people die over 5,000 years? I'm telling you, maybe millions of Chinese die because you're testing out, all right, this herb, join this herb, this join that, that, this herb, and that's where the five element comes in. And maybe what's wrong? If it's wrong, people die. Simple as that. So by the time today when you get a herbal remedy from a herbalist, I'm telling you, you better appreciate that. Many people died before, but come to it, now it's safe. With knowledge, knowledge is the test of time. Knowledge is accumulations of experiences. Nobody can wake up in the morning and say, I know, I know, yeah, I met Buddha, I met spirit, yeah, and I tell me to do this. Do you really still believe in that kind of you know, talk? Huh? So this is very, very important. So if you cannot get your own medicine out, you have to rely on medication outside. Now, because yeah, the Western medicine is different. A lot of them, they're using chemicals, which is very good in a way, yeah, but too powerful, toxicity too powerful. So therefore, the afterward, you, you call it the side effect, really, really in a big problem. So, but if you don't have it, you cannot induce your natural body medicine inside. You have to rely on that, isn't it? But if you can slowly, slowly open up your glands, of course, you're reducing it, reducing it, reducing it, and then you don't need it, you know? I'm still using sometimes Chinese herbs, okay, yeah? But if I can use my own as a natural, natural body medicine, why do I have to use something else, which mostly is still, you know, got poison, toxicity is very high. So this is another point you have to understand. Why is it so important? What's the between external medicine and internal medicine, okay? So these are very, very important. For you to understand so i know some people just want to learn the movements but yes you will be taught the movements you will be taught the movement and it will be taught in a different levels okay so what happened now i'm going to show you right there were five pairs of movements okay yeah there's five pair of movements which you will learn in this three months the first quarter Okay, yeah, and I've, what I've found is a lot of people just want to do the movements. Okay, fine, there's no problem, but there are different levels going into it, and so we keep it until you, the movement, right, is ready, right, is ready. Okay, so the movements, what I obviously, are what I how I teach, speed, right, and the teaching come from the Taoist teaching is, do sang yat ya sang yi yi sang sam. The Tao give birth to one, from one to two, two to three. So how are we going to put that principle into our exercises? Now, I put it into what? Into speed. First, we, of course, now I'm talking to you. Now, I can sit down there so you can see better with my hand. Now, technology is good in one way and it's bad in another way. But at the moment, right, because I cannot teach all over the world, I can only rely on technology. I know Argentina group, Dr. Worth, Worth, so you want me, and Dr. Willis, you all want me to go over there, isn't it, yeah? And then I'm sure Vietnam, Tweety, you want me to come over and see all your students, isn't it, yeah? I'm sure I'd love to, but I can't. <laughs> I can't. We've got 15 different countries now, our group. So which one can I go? So unfortunately, 
at the moment, we have to rely on you. Your learning curve is very important. So learn as much as you can through technology of today. Okay. So what I'll do is, right, I'll break it up, the movements into the hand movement first, wide upper part, four joint, finger joint, wrist joint, elbow joint, shoulder joint, spinal joint. So at least a five part here. And then later on, I stand up and join another four parts. The whole body move, one part move, all part move. So each movement, this is Tao Yin Su now, each movement you're manipulating nine joints. Okay, yeah, so you learn it, fine, fine. But is it in your subconsciousness? What's the point of learning the second movement if you don't, not drilling it? So this is where the problem with a lot of people, yes, I learned it, can I have another movement? Yeah, I can teach you hundreds of movements. You don't even know one blinking movement, one pair, the yin and yang. Now, up, down, left, right, backward and forward. There's a five essences because you're what? Because you're creating a circular move, a three-dimensional move, like I said how you're twisting all your ligaments and joint to stimulating your neurological, you know, stimulating your neurological energy and then trigger, induce your biological energy. This is how I teach in university. Okay. So I just give you a little bit more directions. Okay. And then also after you're learning, now I'm talking to you, right? So it's like a normal speed, normal speed. Now, for example, the first pair, I can sit here, but later on, I'm going to get up. Now, like here, and I, I will explain to you, right? You move like this, okay? Yeah? So from here, it's like I'm using the old text. You're combing your hair. So because you're combing your hair, and then you're washing your face, right? I'm talking to you, and the movement come in, and then good old stretch. Well, we're stretching. I'm going to stretch. <sighs> stretch backward and stretch forward. So... That time when I'm teaching you, I have to talk, right? Now, if I don't talk to you, see how many, you know, you can pick up the movement. Because a lot of people said, hey, professor, you talk too much. I come here to train. Okay, now watch me. You picked it up. Okay. This is what you're going to learn in the 24 hours, the first quarter. Right? I'm going to show you more. Okay, that's five pair. So you can follow me if you want. But how many how many movements you can remember? And what's behind the movement? How are we going to use those movements to trigger your natural body medicine? Don't you agree? So therefore, you have to give me time. Now, this is station movement. And later on, you have movement with the lower part, the movements of your step work, right? So I do it slowly like this. Move up, up moving up, yeah, moving down. Turn, oh, you have to turn as well. So turning. So you start from a static position and you start moving. Why is it moving? Because you've got four joint here, isn't it? Why are you gripping your toe? Why are you doing the ankle? Why are you doing the knees? Isn't that true when we get old, all our joints start crumbling? Yeah. So this is why it's very important. You have to understand what are you doing with a particular movement. If you don't understand, have you ever asked yourself, why bother doing it? You don't even know what is it? Oh, my master told me to. Have you even asked the master, excuse me, sir, what I'm doing that movement for? Ask him. See if he can give you an answer. So if he cannot give you an answer, you just say, oh, just do it. It's good for you. We're promoting your health. Is that what you want? Promoting the health. 
and that you're happy with that. Would it be that he doesn't even know? Think about it. Think about it. True. So that's why today I'm trying to give you a head start. Two hours in a week, I teach you. You must work on your own because next week is something else. Now, if you don't drill for it, yeah, I cannot help you. So we got circular line, for example. Now, this, right, this is one, one circular line, right? Now, this, this circular line, and then you have the second circular line, which is from outside to the inside, left and right. And then from here, backward and forward. Why? Don't you want to know why? Don't you think you have to have time to explain to you why? Why are you doing that? I can show you. Yeah, it's very simple. You can do it. But you don't know why. Yeah? And then this is average speed. What about slow speed? Now, slow speed is breathing now. The same Qi Su. You call it Qi Gong today. You've got three levels of breathing. I just explained already. So you got microcosmic path. Do you know what microcosmic path? Or what are the microcosmic path? Duma, Rama, and these two energy lines, what they're nourishing? Your spine and your brain. How are we going to manipulate, regulate the health of microcosmic path? We tuck up. Why are we tucking up? Why are we tucking it up? And then we're breathing in, and then we swallow, right? We call it bridging, the bridging, upper bridge. Why we swallow, right? Why we swallow? What about the epiglottis? What's it going to do with the epiglottis? And then after that, how are you going to depressurize it? Depressurize because it's breathing in the lung. Why are you depressurizing the lung? And why is it you allow, you know, the, that air you bring in? We talk about ABO light. Well, how ABO light comes in? Huh? This is a breathing, isn't it? We're just like a breathing. Yeah, everybody can breathe. Come on, be serious. Surely the ancient Chinese for thousands of years try to get to some more you know, amazing function of our mind and body. And then now people say, yeah, I know it. Natural breathing. Come on, be serious. Natural breathing can give you help, isn't it? Of course, natural breathing is important because without oxygen, you'll be dead. But are we talking about speciality? Are we not training? So don't you think you should be a bit more... So why is it so slow? Now, this is, is that slow enough for you? Huh? So you see all these people doing the slow motion, like, like a blinking robot. What's it for? I don't know. Masters tell me to, you do slow, you will increase my health. Are you buying that now? And when we got problem in China. Okay, yeah. So you slow, what about the fast? Of course the fast comes in. Why is it the fast come in? So there's another essence coming in. Why? Don't you think, what are you doing? Why are you doing this? We do try to make it a bit better. Okay, so 
Fast usually is straight lines, right? So when you do it slow, it's circular line, remember? But straight line, now this is straight line. Okay, straight line. Yeah, okay. So slow, forward. Now, straight line, straight line. Why? Because you're jerking your ligament and also self-defense, the knowledge come in. Ladies, don't you want to look after yourself? The world's getting really bad now. Don't you want to look after yourself? Is there, the movements are there. Do you know the movement, that's all. True. So all this, they are falling you know, into our syllabus. So you learn one move, you're not only getting the self-healing ability of it, at the end of the day, your movement will look after you when somebody trying to get to hurt you. And that's self-defense. That is the speciality of what we call internal training. External training, you go to the gym, fine. You're pumping up all the muscles. It's not bad. But it's not going to help you with the mind, isn't it? Because this so bore with this repetition. People got to put on music. So it's not going through your brain. But internal, because every movement we have accounted for. Why I do want to do this when I do it fast? Because it's, it's a grip. Uh, it's a strike. You can do it. You can do it slow as well. So we need the speed, isn't it? Right? So when you go into subconsciousness, your speed will come in as a reflexes. So when you talk about subconsciousness, isn't it your, your mind, the your training of your mind? So if you don't want to have Alzheimer's, you don't want to have Parkinson. You better stay sharp in your brain, isn't it? Now I'm 70, 70 years old now. I'm telling you, I'm still very sharp, man. Don't bully me, right? <laughs> okay. Why? Because my brain cell die and it grows very quickly. Right? So when the mind is fit, this is the boss. Your body will be healthy. Don't you agree? Your mind go down, your body go. This is it not mind and body? So same words. So we want to know it a little bit more. Fair enough? So this is why it's very important that I give you this first lecture. Okay, yeah? And uh, I hope that give you uh, a direction. I hope that you give you a direction, right? So if you really want to join us, yeah. And uh, of course, there are a lot of, you know, things that we have to talk about it at the end of the day. And uh, like I said, why is it that I run this three years of free lectures? Because the objective of this last three years, because we are in a pandemic and you know, I thought maybe I help people, and I did. I help a lot of people because we're looking at four walls. Remember that time we locked in a blinking room, and not a lot of people are living in the house. It's people in this apartment in Hong Kong, and the Hong Kong group would say, "Hey, professor, can you give us some, you know, training and things like that?" I say, "Okay." So that's why I'm starting it. And some people, a lot of people have no work. A lot of people has lost their work today. It's still going really bad economical. So as an educational worker, fine, I can give you something free. But at the end of the day, now I haven't even taken one penny, okay? I like some contributions into your own group because there's, we still have to pay a lot of money on even running these Zoom things, you know, it's quite expensive and things, okay? So of course, I, I happily if people have some money to contribute to, you know, to keep it, and and those who people who cannot, con, you know, afford it, fine, you know. So when you get a good job, better because at the end of the day, when you go up and up and up later on, you will be earning some money. And I'm telling you what, I am training instructor now because eight research, we will put it up there, and I need a lot of qualified teacher so that's why I bring you back into the university and get fully qualified for those who hasn't got a doctor degree so there's something